Fishes make up 60% of all vertebrate species in the world. We use the term fishes and not fish as scientists are realising that it clumps together a huge range of diverse aquatic individuals from over 33,200 species. We used to believe that fishes weren't sentient, but new and emerging scientific evidence shows that fishes do feel pain and are capable of suffering, just like us. In addition to being sentient, fishes are also highly intelligent and social animals. For example, fishes have more ways of communicating with each other than any other vertebrate group. They lead complex social lives and can remember hundreds of individuals. Fishes even play and have cultural traditions. Fishes have been constantly evolving for millions of years and have extraordinarily sophisticated senses and abilities, often outperforming humans. Sharks are able to smell about 10,000 times better than humans. Fishes can also see colours far more vividly than we do and have a more refined ability to taste. Contrary to popular misconception, they are also highly intelligent. One way we can measure intelligence is to test for self-awareness, which is the ability to identify a separate sense of self distinct from other entities. One type of fish, called a cleaner ras, became the first fish to pass the classic test for self-awareness, recognising themselves in a mirror. This kind of self-awareness was previously thought to be reserved to humans, elephants, dolphins and crows. There's a popular myth that fish have short memories. This has now been proven false. One example of this is when frillfin gobies memorise a detailed mental map of the intertidal zone, so they can safely jump between pools at low tide. Just like mirror self-recognition, tool use was thought to be unique to mammals and birds until scientists observed a tusk fish using a rock to crack open clams. Since then, it's been found that many species of fish use tools. Archer fishes use water as a tool. In a feat of innovation, archer fishes split jets of water into the air to catch insects. Fishes even manipulate their environments to attract mates and to communicate with their complex social networks. The white-spotted pufferfish spends weeks making geometric patterns in the sand to impress his perfect mate. Other fishes cooperate not only with their own kind, but also with other species. Individual moray eels and gropers will often form a bond by teaming up in pairs. They hunt together over many years because they're likely to catch more prey when they work together. Some fishes have even been observed helping out their mates when they're having trouble swimming. Scientists are discovering the surprising and fantastic abilities of fishes. And with ongoing research, we will soon learn even more about our wonderful underwater friends.